we begin with Fox 13 Spencer Joseph and Spencer I understand I-80 is now under a soft reopen what exactly does that mean well, Bob, exactly what that means, and you could probably see a couple of those semis go past me, so it is already open. That soft reopening basically means that fire crews reserve the right to shut it down if there is some sort of upcrop in the fire just to the left of us right along I-80, or if they do need to bring helicopters or planes back into the area and for the safety of everyone who's traveling along I-80, if helicopters or planes are dropping, uh, they couldn't do that if there were cars right underneath them. But today, while I-80 was closed, I traveled from the top of Parley Summit all the way around to see what all of those that were stuck because of the I-80 closure had to deal with today. We are keeping the evacuations in Mount Air in place currently, and I-80 is closed in both directions. As helicopters continue to halt the progress of the Parley's fire along I-80, the freeway has remained closed. They are having to fly over the freeway, which is a safety hazard for anybody driving underneath. And we also have a lot of firefighters working along the highway. So as traffic was forced to go around, so did we. So I'm starting on the Park City side of things at Parley Summit. I'm going to choose the Ogden route to go around. I've got my phone to time it, my GoPro to record it. I guess all that's left to do is to start the journey. Judging by the number of cars on the road, this was preferred route for most others too, including Keith, who was driving to Speedweeks from Minnesota. He found out about the closure by, well, finding it. Well, I guess there isn't much I can do about it. He was hoping to get to Wendover by tonight. I'd like to be there for the car show tonight. Do you think you're going to get there? It's only 1 o'clock. Along our journey, we were slowed down by a little construction and a lot of trucks. And that's probably the biggest impact to this entire closure is all of these trucks having to go around and it just shows how big of a corridor Interstate 80 is for commerce. But after several miles, the journey came to an end. <sighs> All right, well, you can see I just got to the other side of the closure at the bottom of I-80. According to my phone, an hour and 30 minutes round trip. My dash tells me it's just over 101 miles to go all the way around. And while it's an extra hour and a half and 100 miles to travel around, fire crews say it's ultimately for the safety and protection of their crews, as well as everyone driving on the roads. It's our goal to open up I-80 as soon as we possibly can, but we're going to wait for safety reasons. And same with the evacuations. We'll lift those as soon as it's safe to do so. So as we were talking about before, fire crews just deeming it safe to reopen Interstate 80. The plan was 9 o'clock tonight, but uh, as we've just reported, it is back open. A couple of cars are starting to make their way uh, up and down I-80. So as of right now, a soft opening, but fire crews do reserve the right to shut it back down if there is any dangerous situations along I-80. In Parley's Canyon, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.